Okay, so I guess we're getting started. Here we go. All right, we have a new one here. This is going to be uh, called video mapping. We're going to show some old stuff and some new stuff. Um, but first, we'll uh, just sort of, uh, I, I made some advanced video grabbing and video playback system. So we already had the advanced video grabber. This let you um, pick a device. If you had an external camera, you could, you could do this drop down and connect your external USB camera really nicely. And we figured out the reason why it was coming in at low resolution because you have to also get format list and then go in here and tell it what kind of format you want. Some of the formats are pegged at lower resolution than others. Um, like for right now, this format uh, 422 uh, is 1280 by 720. But if this were set here, you might not even know it and it would max your resolution out at 320 by 240, which we were having that problem and couldn't figure out why. Yeah. We figured out why. So we built this into a nice, uh, a nice, um, sort of video grabber. All right, so um, advanced video input. And then uh, what we haven't looked at yet is this advanced movie playback. Um, I've used this a whole bunch and it's really useful. This is sort of, now we're getting at why I don't like the... Uh, like the budget movie and... No, the one that's automatic, this, this thing. Oh, like um, the play bar or play, or this sugar, that's for sound. This one, yeah. the one that does, uh, which movie is it? But now it's not even working. Oh, it's because it's not. Okay, so you can always go over here and grab a video and drop it in here, and then you get this. Oops, you get this thing, which is called playlist. Playlist. That'll play sounds or videos, and it's pretty convenient. Um, but you just don't have a lot of functionality, and I tell that to students, and they don't believe me, and they use playlist anyway because it does pretty much what they want it to do. But then they get into more complex problems where they want like, what if you want a video to start fading out when it's 90% done playing right. and fade in and, and when it hits like 90% then crossfade into mm -hmm. another video. Okay, well, it, the playlist is not going to help you with that at all. So what you have to do is you have to build something your own. So this is my version of advanced movie playback. Um, the patcher is called fancy movie play. All right. Well, inside there is, um, it's basically JIT movie. Um, but every frame, you know, when you send banks to JITMovie, which you still have to do with this version, it actually does two things. It sends this message get time and then it sends a bang. So the message get time will actually send out the current playback head location of the movie. And when you load the movie, it's already going to do have done all of these things. Get duration, get time scale, get frame count, get movie dimensions. So it's going to, when you load the movie, when you first load the movie, it's going to, give those four pieces of information, which are then going to be used in conjunction with this constant get time thing to calculate the current percentage of the playback head in terms of like how, how far into the movie it is from zero to, to 100%. Um, what frame are you currently on and how many seconds into the video you are? I actually contemplated also adding in here how many seconds away from the end you are, Ooh, which would be kind of fun. Yeah. You can easily add that, but I, I just, I didn't do it. It also spits out the movie name in case you want to, you know, like augment the movie name to, you know, or show the movie name on the screen or something like that. So um, it also calculates the aspect ratio of the movie, which I am using um, in conjunction with this little P window height thing here. So all this does is take uh, that ratio and multiply it by 320 so that I'm always going to have a video. My P window is going to adjust its size to the size of whatever the movie is that I'm playing. It's right. always going to be 320 pixels high, and you can change that if you go in there. Uh, so I like 320. So it's always going to be 320 high, but the width is going to change according to the um, aspect ratio of the uh, of the movie. So if we open this grabber here, the this window should change. There, it's automatically changed to be the the right. So now this is the right aspect ratio. So we'll close that. And then we have uh, the advanced movie player here. So um, let's read in a file. Let's read a file. So let's see. Well, I didn't really prep anything, but uh, let's see what we got here. Train footage. All right. So Always a win. start that. <laughs> um, so this movie, you can see it is reading out every Q Metro that comes into the uh, fancy movie play thing here is going to spit out also a uh, current percentage of the playback head which frame it's on, how many seconds into the movie we are, and this is the name of the file here. Um, you can still set the speed um, however you want, and then you can make it go to a specific frame. You can see this uh, bar here moves with the uh, playback head. Um, that's that, advanced video playback. Um, how does it do it? 
Okay, so every frame of video, the get time is uh, a message is sent to jit.movie, and that causes out the right outlet of jit.movie all of this information to come out. Uh, time, duration, frame count, time scale, movie dim. Um, and here we're just using the route command to route those numbers to different outlets. So it's going to route all the time numbers to over to the first outlet, duration numbers to the second outlet, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then it does some minor calculations with those uh, pieces of information to create what we want, which is outlets that report the percentage, the frames, and the seconds. Also the movie name. So if you were, for instance, going to add in what you just talked about, the the how many seconds from the end, you would add that attribute to the route object, and then you could proceed from there. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. So only certain things are gonna are jit dot movie can only can only give you certain things. Okay. These here, um, so it can give you time, duration, frame count, and time scale, as well as the uh, movie name and the movie dimensions. These here are are derived by me from okay. using that information. So like if you know the total duration, which is reported in in uh, ticks, which is a strange movie time, mm -hmm. time format. So um, ticks is defined, how many ticks per second is defined by the time scale. So if you know the duration in ticks and you know how many ticks are in one second, you can pretty much figure out where you are in seconds in the movie because the time comes out in ticks also. Um, so you just so do that math. Just do a little bit of math. Mm -hmm. Uh, the frame count is the total number of frames in the movie, but if you want the current frame, you also have to do a little bit of math to figure out the current time in ticks, how what a tick means in terms of uh, how many seconds per tick. Um, anyway, you can derive all that stuff. Right, so right. I chose to derive how far in are we in seconds, uh, how many frames in are we, and what is our percentage the way through. But it would be easy to also figure out how many seconds till the end of the movie. Right, that, right. that would be fun. I, I think I'll probably do that some other time. Okay, I think we're long here. So yeah. Seven minutes. All right.